Hello everyone, in this lecture we will discuss the implementation of bubble sort. So what we discussed last time was in the last video that we will have uh, two loops. The first loop will repeat some process. So that process will go on n minus one times. In every uh, such iteration, what we will do, we will pick the element at the front and it will push it towards the end of the array. Okay, or to the suitable position where it can fit. So we can say for int times equal to one times less than equal to n minus one times plus plus okay and every time what we need to do we need to do repeated swapping and we need to push the element in the right direction okay so do repeated swapping so for that we said we will take a variable j that goes from zero and for the first iteration what it is going to do Okay, so uh, what we discussed was let's say we have a 5 here 5 4 3 2 1 so what we will do we'll make comparison with 5 and 4 it will become like 4 5 3 2 1 and then we will compare 5 and 3 it will become 4 5 uh, 4 3 5 2 1 then we'll compare these two it will become 4 3 2 5 and 1 then we will compare these two okay so if you have n elements which are not sorted okay then you only need to go till till the index n minus 2 okay this is the n minus 2th index this is the n minus 1th index so when the value of times is 1 we effectively want to go till n minus 2 so that that means j should be less than equal to n minus times minus 1 okay and we can say j plus plus and since we have generalized this this will work for all all the iterations okay so we can check if the current element that is aj if it is greater than the next element aj plus one then we are going to swap them so we can say swap aj and aj plus one that's it and this is how we can uh, do bubble sort okay that's it that's the entire algorithm and we are just going to repeat this work n minus one times okay repeat this work n minus one times and you will get, end up getting a sorted array as we discussed now let us try to print all the elements of this array okay so we can see out uh, arr and uh, maybe followed by a comma build the code okay uh, this should be a let's make this as a and this is for this is for sorry this should be void okay and we are done so now if i run bubble sort here sorry this should be x and now if i run bubble sort here and you can see we are getting this minus 12 minus 2 minus 1 1 3 3 4 5 6 we are getting all the elements in the right order and we also have repeating elements negative elements everything is working just fine okay so i hope this code is clear and now we will discuss the next sorting algorithms in the next lecture